yeah, I guess three plus two isn't like as popular as three o. Oh, hey, I'm white. Didn't I? I, I said I was gonna be white, right? At some point. Let's go. What to play? I'll play another e4. It was like whatever black plays, I can choose some some fun thing. I'll play knight f3. So I just played an alapin. I could play c3 and transpose into alapin. Um, someone was asking yesterday about Marazzi bind, if I could just give a lesson on this opening. So c4, it's, the intention is to play a uh, Marazzi bind structure, which is defined by pawns on c4, e4, and um, you know, wait a minute. This is move order. I think black was supposed to play d6 first, because now I have e5. Like usually the lot of ideas this this. It's been so long since I've actually uh, studied this opening. Um, I mean, there's knight g8. Wait, e5, knight g8, bishop f4, d6. I can castle queenside even. It looks nice. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was about to. I was about to play bishop f4, but before playing e5, the curse of my previous opponent, the same mistake that was made. But yeah, e5 first, and now now bishop f4. And the idea is after d6 to castle and create the pin. Um, and like at a glance, this looks really nice for white. Just development, central control, space. But there are some issues with the queen and pawn. Like pawn's overextended, queen's aligned with the bishop. So I do have to be careful. Knight's ready to come in with tempo. wonder if I can play queen... D2, hit the knight, knight f5, and then g4. There's knight h4 threatening the fork, and then I castle. Let's do it. Because the knight has to move here. If, I guess it can move here. But then I have queen e2 hitting the knight, defending the pawn. Okay, so we're going for this line, which I initially looked at. And this is really the only move. It's pretty rare that you castle in Marazzi mind. Because I'm committed to c4, but... These are, I guess, extraordinary circumstances. Yeah, what is the name of the opening? It's like Sicilian Dragon, Marazzi Bind, some kind of accelerated dragon. Black wants to play g5. I could stop it by playing g5 myself, but that gives away the f5 square. There's a cool idea to play e6, maybe. And there's Bishop g3, g5, f4. Which is kind of neat. Let's do it. Keeps initiative. And this doesn't scare me because the knight is just so loose. Oh, if I win this game, I break 2,500. Okay, no pressure. It's nice um, having an increment. It's kind of refreshing not worrying too much about flagging. Okay, so now I'm just threatening the pawn. I just want to take twice. Oh, no, I don't. If I take twice, uh, there's bishop h6 pinning and winning my queen. So I might just want to play f5. Yeah, black's aware of this trickery. 
Queen a5 is logical. Maybe just bishop e2. I'm not sure what black's next move is. I am just preventing this, want to play this move. I might just slow play, like rook f1, king b1. Oh, that's the next move. I should have seen that coming. Mm. I really want to make e6 work. If I take... Give me 95. Yeah, I'm going to have to live on the increment. So if takes, I think I just get away with winning the rook. I have check here, check king b1. I should be safe. And probably more likely we trade queens and then... It's hard for black to stop this move. Might see takes, takes, castling. And f5 takes, takes. It looks nice. Ooh. Okay, so idea is to play f5 next, no matter what takes the pawn. Oh, if pawn takes, I actually made in two. Wow. Here, here, and then mate. Ah. Okay, so we're simplifying. Was that just one big trade? I think it was. Whoa, it's money. Rosen's tea. There once was an I am chess guru. One mm. could say that he knew chess voodoo. Mm. During one fun stream, he said, oh no, my queen. Oh no. And then he made it Hikaru. <laughs> I was not expecting that ending. That was great. Thanks for the, the poem. Was that a limerick? That was a limerick, right? Also, thanks for the $10. I appreciate that. Da my pawn. Da my rook is getting... Wait, I have this move. Okay. What is this position? We both have five pawns. I have two pawn islands. Black has three. And the structure is solid. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that. I wasn't sure what else to do. So I want to get the king into f5 if possible. Oh, it's going to be a race, probably. I think I'm just faster because I win this and then I'll promote. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, this is bad. Or is it? Oh, this is really bad. Or is it? What's going on here? Oh, this is really bad. Wait a minute. I'm so con I'm confusing myself. No, this is really bad. No, I'm going to lose this game. If I play this, no. Yeah. Oh, I'm winning. Black remove queen takes bishop. I almost flagged there too. What is this? It's a miracle. Oh, I kind of feel bad, but not really. 
That's why you never resign. Yeah, so Black saw there as a fork, made the very understandable, like, just pre-move, assuming a king has to move and takes a bishop. <laughs> but I mean, it crossed my mind that, like, maybe, the, like, queen f5 is pre-movable, which is why you should play bishop e6 here. Oh, man. That was kind of anxiety-inducing. Ill sub for that. I feel bad for my opponents, but thanks, John Ludwig, screwdriver, for subbing. I appreciate that. Yeah, I feel bad. A black played well. That was a very elaborate game. Also, high YouTube. Yeah, I should make a high YouTube emote. Um. Yeah, I really thought I was like gonna be faster here. Appreciate but this pawn's really quick. Oh, I appreciate you too, Zach V. Appreciate that. Yeah, this pawn is really quick. Maybe I had to play King F four. Yeah, King F four, and then the king can come back, and then I'll have two outside passers, and the king can't come here because my bishop defends. If Black goes for this, the king will retreat the bond cloud retreats sounds like a fun vacation so white should be better here but yeah my opponent played well um that was a weird opening though i'm sure i yeah okay i was winning here but maybe opponent played well later on in the game um yeah, the opening was very nice. Which is why, yeah, the main line is d6. Oh, Carlson had this position twice. But yeah, almost everyone plays d6. It's very typical in Sicilian. The reason to play d6 is to slow down pawn e5. Okay. So if you're watching in the future on YouTube, be sure to follow on Twitch. I feel like by the time I post this YouTube video, I'll probably have crossed 100K followers. But yeah, if you want to watch on Twitch, um, you can follow and get notified when I go live. Also, Twitch chat says hi. Twitch chat always so welcoming to YouTube. Oh, I received. Oh, this is old. Choo choo. LOL. <laughs> 